Welcome to the Sunday Mass. And for those of you that don't know me, my name is Father Paul. First of all, we'd like to thank you for praying and celebrating with us each week at the Sunday Mass. Just a gentle little reminder, if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, you might want to consider doing that. It won't cost you anything. And that way, every time we upload the Sunday Mass each week, or when we share one of our novenas or reflections or prayers with you, you'll be notified and you can join us. Also, I'd like to assure you that in our prayer basket next to the altar, anytime something significant happens in our church, in our country, and in our world, the prayer is always placed there. For example, when the tragic war in Ukraine began, a prayer went in for the people of the Ukraine and for peace, and that prayer has remained there uh, since then and will remain there until it ends. So anytime a significant event happens, uh, whether it's good or bad, uh, in our world, in our church, or in our country, please be assured that a prayer immediately goes into our prayer basket. Just also a reminder that if you don't get us on YouTube, you can always find us on our website, thesundaymass.org. Once again, thank you for being part of our faith community. Let's begin our celebration. Welcome everyone to our celebration of the Sunday Mass and Ministry of the Passionist Community. It is August 6th, the Feast of the Transfiguration of the Lord. Our celebrant today is Father Michael. So if you have your prayer guide, take it out, turn to the beginning of Mass, and let us begin our celebration. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. As we come together today, we recognize God in the person of Jesus, in the many ways in which God invites us to know him, love him, and serve him. But because we haven't always done that, we ask God's pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And, and on, on earth, peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, we, bless you, we adore, adore you, we glorify you. you. We, give we give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God heavenly King, 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 O God Almighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son. Lord, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, Son of, Son of the Father, Father you, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You, you are, are seated, seated at the right, right hand of the Father. Father. Have, Have mercy on us. For you, you alone are the Holy One. one. You, you alone are the Lord. Lord. You, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, 
Amen. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers and the wonderfully prefigured our adoption to sonship. Grant, we pray to your servants, that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was snow bright, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and millions upon millions attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was presented before him, the one like a son of man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is King, the Most High, over all the earth. The Lord is King, the Most High, over all the earth. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice, let the many islands be glad. Justice and right, the foundation of his throne. The Lord is King, the Most High, over all the earth. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we had been eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received honor and glory from God the Father, when that unique declaration came to him from the majestic glory, this is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it as to a lamp sh shining in a dark place until day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise, do not, and do not be afraid. And when the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged them, Do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. John Gordon, a author and motivational speaker, wrote a book and it's called One Word. And his philosophy is, at the beginning of the year, or whenever people want to make their year, have one word that is going to motivate them, draw them, and that they continually come back to. I think if I was going to hit the word for this, it would be identity. An identity not just like a pinky, uh, just a pinky swear across my heart, a handshake, but a covenant of blood that says, I will be your God and you will be my people. That God is drawing them and, and asking us to be his witnesses. So you're invited today to come to the mountain. And Jesus is transfigured and a covenant, one of all the covenants from Adam to Revelation, goes and says, yes, you belong. You have an identity. I will be your God. Time and time again, whether it's Moses, whether it's David, whether it's Peter or any of them else, there's all sorts of times in which God says, don't you remember? This has happened. I'm here for you. And some people just turn away. And he does it stronger with miracles to be able to say, this is happening. Your faith has saved you. Today, he takes Peter, James, and John to be that witness, to be able to write the story years later, to be able to help them know who they are in Christ because they've come to know God. We've experienced covenants, whether it's marriage, whether it's ordination, religious, a sense of that change of identity that says you and God and people say yes. Say yes to the way in which all many things can be better for you. That God is protecting you, providing for you, and loving you. Not only for you, but for all generations. You're called to remember the story, to make it yours. And we do that every Eucharist, every time we come together. It is for you, the Savior died. Do this in memory of me. This is the covenant in my blood for you and for many. Take and eat, take and drink. We hear the story and sometimes we might even forget it. But we come together today to recognize Jesus is present. And what is God showing you? What is God telling you? Or maybe you can look out at the stars. Maybe you can feel the sunshine and to be able to remember the story of the goodness of God, the strength of God, and once again said yes. You know, once, to say, once again, help other people to say, Lord, it is good that we are here.
and let us share what we believe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And on the third, the third day, in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism and forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Friends in faith, let us trust in the goodness of the Lord as we place our needs before, the, before God this day. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who must live amid violence and war, especially the people of Ukraine and other war-thorn areas of the world. May all hearts that are filled with anger violence, hate, and war become hearts filled with peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who struggle with nature disasters, illness, and the loss of a loved one. May they find comfort in the Lord's healing spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of our benefactors, the intentions of the Sunday Mass Faith community that will be placed next to the altar, and for Earl Francis Clifford, for whom we pray in a special way at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. God of all life, let your blessing be powerfully present in every word we speak and every action we live. Hear and answer our prayers this day through Christ our Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son. And by his radiant splendor, cleanse us from the stains of sin. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, <coughs> Holy Father, <coughs> Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he revealed the glory of, in the presence of his chosen witnesses and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form, which he shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples and that he might show how in the body of the whole church is to be revealed what so wonderfully shone forth first in his head. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. And before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Lord, the font of all holiness. <clears throat> Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be given up for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Robert our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Paul of the Cross and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Peace, the Lord, be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, my roof but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. healed. Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you willed to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 A Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Thanks to all of you for joining us today for our celebration of the Sunday Mass. A special thanks to Father Michael and to our ministry team for leading us and helping us to pray. And also, happy birthday to Father Michael on his birthday today. We're most grateful that he chose to be with us and to celebrate his birthday in this way. Many blessings, Father Michael, today and always. As always, continue to send in your prayers and petitions so that they can be placed next to the altar. Hope you're having a great summer. Uh, and until we meet again next Sunday, may the passion of Jesus Christ be always in your heart. Mm -hmm.